Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, welcome to our video today. Today we're going to be uh, strawberry coating my wheels on the track car, uh, ready for our track day at Bedford on Monday. I'm going to be using um, CarPro Seacorps 3.0 for the wheels, already using it for the body. Um, I'll let you know that gets on once I wash the car for the first time, but that seems like great stuff. And I'll be using one of these applicators. This came from my G Technic strawberry coating, which I had on the car before. That should be a much better. Um, a plat application for the coating for the wheels, so I'm going to be using that. Um, and then some car, some car pro eraser first, just to get off the uh, the dirt on the wheels, the dust. Sorry, they've already been sort of clayed and uh, cleaned very well. Um, so there's a 3.0. And um, so I've used about half a bottle, um, doing two coats on the car, so plenty left for the wheels, uh, plus over. Um, so yeah, let's get crack on now. See how we get on. Okay guys, so ready to start the coating. I'm gonna get clean off with some eraser first, then onto the coating. I said so they're pretty clean. So just wipe over with the eraser before coating them. Yeah. Okay, so let's use a bit of eraser just to give it a good clean up, ready for the coating. I always spray onto the cloth. A bit easier. Okay. Pick on wheels, doesn't really matter too much. And then we've got the Dunlop the Reza tires on here, um, they're a great track tire. We do give you a lot of grip. Um, take a bit of warming up once you're up to temperature. Yeah, there's a lot of grip in them. Okay, let's bring you in for a look. Okay, let's get the coating on. See how the flash times are. Get the rest of the rest of these clean first with a razor. Then we go into the coatings. See you in a minute. Okay, give the a bit of a shake. I think I did a whole wheel before I level it off. Um, I've been to stuff can, I may say take off straight away, but it is a wheel, so we'll just let it dry before I take it off. Can't even remember the cap, there you go. Really nice. Flash off, and I'll do the barrel. Just put a bit more product on there. Too much. Back of the spokes as well. Probably quite an important area um, to 
coat because it's not really there, you can clean easily. Um, but hopefully this coating will keep the brake dust blocked off a lot because these isn't the wheels are not lacquered, um, so they tend to let a lot more crap stick to them. So hopefully the coating will help with that. Okay, that's that one done. Let's see what we've got. Um, it's still bet. I've put quite a lot on actually. So I think I can let that one drive a bit longer and move on to the next wheel. Actually, no, we'll wait for a few minutes and let it level off. It's come off really nicely. Yeah, come off really nicely. Um, it's gone really nice, come off really nice. Uh, we don't seem to be. Um, so it goes on quite shiny, obviously, the matte black wheels, so uh, there will be a shine to it. But you, as the shine disappears, you know, you're taking it off, cutting off as the shine disappears, so that's really good. You can see, you know, what you're doing with these on the black wheel anyway. So that's gone on really nicely. Um, give it a face of another look. Okay, let's bring you in. One more look. Bit hard to tell at the moment. Um, we'll get the wheels on the car. We give them a spray down um, and then give them a, a final coat with some uh, spray sealant to, to top them. But yeah guys, let's get them on the car, see what they look like. See how dirty these wheels are for the track day. So you're going to be foaming the first with some yum foam, uh, rinsing it off and then going with the contact wash with the Thermix HD and um, the brushes. Thermix HD is in there and then the wash bit. There's big bits of rubber in the side tyre, so most of them will come out with the uh, once this foam sucked in to inch it off. Hey guys, let's crack on. Find the 100 mil mark. It's 100 mil there, I think. 100 mil about there. Okay. Put some non foam in. That's it. Really good foam with the uh, MTM foam cannon. Really good. Just gonna get some water for you. Okay, I'm just gonna A 
I'll do see some dirt dripping off there. Give a few minutes to, uh, to soak in. Have a big bit of rubber will go. It's always good to pre rinse to pre soak with foam first before you rinse. Let's get a little nasty dust off. And then we'll see if the soap coating is helps keep them uh, a lot cleaner, i.e., a lot of stuff isn't stuck to the wheel rather the coating, and it's easier to remove. We'll soon see in a minute once we rinse it, see how much has come off. Okay, time for the pre rinse. Let's see if I can get off with it. Okay, so still quite a lot of dirt remains from the snow foaming. Um, I think we need to make it a bit stronger. As I said, the foam is only to get off the light surface dirt, which I hope it's done. That bit of rubber still there. Okay, now I think it's time to go in with the Cervix HD and the contact wash. Let's do that. Just dry in the back, I'll just give a rinse and then I may even load them up with product before I put them into the wheel. So let's do the bowels first. Detail brush because it gets sort in the caliper, which is really useful.
can get a bit of rubber fur. Okay, we'll play hand, look at that. Yes, I know what it looks like. <laughs> okay. Actually, quite like to use a bit. It's uh, quite good. Let's get that bit rinse off. Let's get the real rinse. That should be clean. Uh, beating there guys, can you see the beating? Bring you in. So yeah, a little lot cleaner. Until the coatings worked really well. Wait until they're dry just to make sure, but not a beating there guys. Crazy beating there. Okay guys. See you in a bit. So yeah, I think the boys are coming up really nicely. Um, so yeah, that ceramic coat is all worth doing. Um, it's really kept them looking shiny and new. Look, beads are well, and no dirt really stuck to it. So yeah, it's really worth doing the um, ceramic coat on the wheels. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. See you next time. <laughs>